the stock market morning prep video for Friday, August 15th. Green again across the board. Uh, Dow Jones up, NASDAQ, S&P, Russell all up about um, three to five tenths of one percent. Very quiet day yesterday. Dow Jones did manage to get, uh, eke out a decent gains, up 61 points. But um, if you were really watching, you'd see that the markets were very choppy in the morning, kind of went sideways most of the day. And then the last hour or so, uh, we kind of pushed higher into the close. Uh, it created a little bit more of the short covering rally that uh, we were looking for. Oil got uh, crushed yesterday. Uh, oil stocks got crushed yesterday as well. Uh, and oil just continues to get pounded. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, I personally have no idea uh, or not didn't expect uh, oil to, um, to just get decimated with all of this political conflict. Now, I know Putin's talking up and down the uh, conflict in the Ukraine, and yesterday he mentioned some positive things that he wanted to resolve this in, in a political way, and oil just took it really on the chin again yesterday. But um, it's really, to me, getting interesting at these levels. Um, now, it's not something that I would be picking a bottom. It needs a lot of time, but uh, it's really interesting. And remember, at any given moment, he could say something or something could really escalate uh, where... Um, the uh, uh, ISIS in Iraq gets closer to these uh, oil fields and starts capturing these oil fields, then I think you're going to have a real problem in oil, and I think oil really spikes. But again, uh, we don't know until that actually happens, so let's just uh, take it one step at a time. Um, the indices are starting to look okay. Uh, we are getting to a point where the sweet spot uh, to get short has not given us a trigger. So that means that in this retracement rally, we still want to be looking for longs. Um, until this market really starts to roll over. Now, it would be uh, kind of upsetting if the market didn't roll over, only because um, I'd like to see a deeper correction so we can really get a little bit more aggressive with longs going into the fall, which is really beginning of next another three weeks or so. We start, we start September. Um, and then we start challenging these highs again, and these, these stocks has, hasn't really sold off as much. Um, yeah, there are a few stocks that sold off, um, select a few during earnings season, but um, I really would love to see uh, stocks really sell off a little bit, at least for a rally, because this is not healthy. The market sell off for four or five days. Yeah, it takes out a couple of months' worth of gains and then rallies right back again. It just it, it doesn't make any sense. But, again, that's what we're programmed for, and that's what the government wants. You want They want you to... Make sure that you put your money in the marketplace because there's nowhere else to get yield, and that's what's happening. But um, take a look at the bond chart here, and the bonds are starting to move yet again. Um, it's I would have liked to see this come down into this area here. So um, I did not buy bonds. Uh, I would love to buy them in, in this uh, sweet spot here. We've traded them in between. Um, and again, I'm only concentrating on day trades. Uh, that's the only thing I'm doing. I would never hold anything overnight uh, unless you're hedged. Uh, just because at any given moment anything could happen, and really, it's not um, that's not my thing at the moment. I just feel it's too much headline risk um, capturing or holding anything overnight. So bonds are continuing their short squeeze. Here's my first target. Actually, excuse me, my second target, which is the 1618 uh, at 14022, and I've been saying that uh, I believe since we met this t when we start when we when we hit here back in May. Uh, I said that I do see us getting into the 1618 uh, in the next few months, and sure enough, we're literally right there now. I think one big move up today, tomorrow, into next week, I think we tag the uh, the uh, 1618. Then I'll put some some additional extensions back up again. But this one here had an inverted head and shoulders pattern, uh, which worked beautifully. And I think uh, I mentioned it back here when we had the left shoulder head, right shoulder, right up in here, and then we took that slanted neckline out um, here. Um, and that's when uh, um, uh, the target line from here to here measured 142, 140.22 exactly. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty good stuff. That's uh, 140.20. Um, so that's that's really really close for government work. So uh, well, 140.22, excuse me. So that that actually worked out well. And also now we have another trigger of an inner inverted head and shoulders, which is the ES, which I mentioned to you yesterday. Uh, we are now coming into, um, I'll get rid of these lines to, uh, over the weekend. But we are now coming into, um, right up in here, we have this, this nice big bear flag going into the middle trend line um, of resistance, which was support all the way back up in here when we kept having these repetitive patterns. So now we're coming into this uh, bounce, 
and now we're almost taking out the bounce. Now, if we take this area out here, we take this area out, and we do not fail, all bets are off to the downside, and we challenge the highs. And uh, I know it sounds crazy, and uh, I get a bunch of emails, oh, I think we're, he we're headed lower, we're headed lower. The only thing that scares me is that if, we get, if everybody's saying it and talking about it, then more than likely we're going to go back up again. So um, here's this inverted head and shoulders I showed you yesterday. Here's the neckline and dotted line. You take the move here plus here. It's uh, 55 S&P points. 1945 plus 55 gives us 2,000. And what's, how nicely does the 1272 extension, six points above it, which I think that's where the target's going. I think we're going to the 1272 extension um, because usually when you get here, which we take out the um, high of 18, I believe, eight, 1985, excuse me. Once you get that out and it runs up to 2,000, it usually overshoots. So I do think that the uh, next target would be uh, the, the 2,000 to the 206.35. That's going to be my next extension. And I, and I honestly, guys, I, did, I think that we're headed that way. Um, there's just there's no, there's no fear at all. There's no, no one cares about what's going on. We have three major conflicts going on, and no one cares, and crude oil continues to go lower. So, um, to me, unless something really, really scary happens, I do think that we hit this 2000, um, this 2006 for the 1272 extension. That's going to be my upside target if, in fact, we don't fail right here. But it has to happen now. We just got this cluster, uh, this Fibonacci cluster, so um, it has to happen right now. Otherwise, all bets are off to the downside. Uh, we have the diamonds uh, testing these uh, 1618, excuse me, the 61%, 61.8% Fib. If we take that out, we're going to be challenging the uh, lower trend line area of resistance back up into this bearish rising wedge. And then, of course, we would probably challenge the highs. I have upside targets as well as downside targets. So let's see where we go from here. This is also a line in the sand for the diamonds uh, to start to roll over. Now, same culprit is the IWM still um, lagging behind all of the other indices that are starting to recover. Um, but again, and it's at only at its 38% retracement, so it has plenty of movement to move to the upside. But if you take this bearish symmetry out of lower lows and lower highs, then I think that it just runs back up and will at least challenge the highs, make a double top here in the IWM. And then lastly, uh, oh, excuse me, two more. Um, IYT, which is the transportation sector, our leader, doing quite well, and it is now at its line in the sand of the 61.8% retracement of 148.71, right in this area. This is 61.8% retracement plus the um, uh, middle trend line area of resistance. So let's keep an eye on that, and let's see if that now um, is going to uh, uh, be resistance. And that's going to need to hold. Otherwise, once we get back into this um, second half of the channel, we're going to challenge the highs, and if not, make the 1272 extension. And I know it's nuts, but that's exactly what's happening. Um, and if lastly is the Q's, the, the, the Q's have been another one of our leaders, but have been the strongest of the five. And it is now looking to challenge its highs and create a double top. And let's see if that does hold. And then if, if not, we, we run back down again. But we'll see. But the indices are starting to look okay as in recovery mode. Um, and we'll just see what happens here, guys. Uh, let's see if um, crude oil can recover. I'm watching, I'm watching the oil sector for a long play. Uh, the bullish percent NER isn't there yet. I'd li like to look at that, but I'll put some, I'm going to start looking at some plays over the weekend. Uh, we'll get some good trade ideas for next week. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll talk to you on Monday.